options, um, and then 1024 by 768 or whatever you wanted to do. And it would actually launch the emulator in that resolution. Um, and then Ares, we did the same thing. So you've added a little flag that allows you to put any arbitrary resolution you want uh, in the screen. So with the size of the screen and how I can project, you can't really see this, you can't see the entire screen on here, but if you've got a nice big monitor, you can build nice big tablet applications. Um, so the app I'm gonna build is really simple. Uh, it's just gonna be a Maps application. So I create a new application, which will build out the canvas, and give me, give me, give me what I need to start. So here I've got a blank, blank application, and here are all the widgets. So just a few of these we've converted over to Enyo. Um, one of them is the Maps widget. So if I bring that over, it shows you a Maps of, uh, of Barcelona. And now this is the web, and everything's in JavaScript, and just like Aries is there, this actually just works directly in the tool. So you're actually designing something that works real time. Um, and then it only takes a single click to actually send it to the device. So for this app, it's really simple. All the functionality is built in because it's Enyo, and I can just press the little play button to display it on the device. But just before I did this, so I didn't have to mess around with too many different cables, or not, we'll kill that part of the demo. I had this displaying on a pre-3 that appears to not be showing at the moment. Um, so let me just take you over to the touchpad so you can see the app. Um, so here you can see the entire app works just fine, aerial, back and forth. So with this, you can actually take the same exact application and deploy it on both. You play it on the pre, on the veer, on a touchpad, and it'll work across all three. It uses flexible sizing, it uses the same code, it uses Enyo to achieve those results. So what did we learn today? So 